Hello everybody, today we are going to be looking at goats and seeing how possible is it to ride them because there are no mods out currently allowing you to do that. But in my last video, I covered how it was possible to actually ride an axolotl up until the point where you get into the water and then it kind of breaks, but still very much possible. And today we're going to be looking deeper into that and seeing how goat become rideable because we tame this guy. Are you tamed? I don't know. He seems to be considering he will not accept wheat anymore. And then if we right click him with a saddle, I mean, that doesn't do anything because, you know, he's not a horse. If I go ahead here and give myself a command block, I have the secret command that I did use in my last video, allowing us to ride the axolotl, which this basically spawns an axolotl with an invisible, invulnerable horse that is attached to it. If we go right here and slap it, boom, we have axolotl. And if we go into spectator, you can see there is a horse. He exists, but only in the shadow realm. In the normal world, he uh, actually doesn't exist at all. So we can change the line of code in this command block to spawn us a goat that does have a horse on top of it and will allow us to ride it. I don't know how, how it's going to be, but it's going to be a lot better than this stupid axolotl because he doesn't go fast at all. Like in my last video, I will have in the description the creator of this line because I cannot take credit for it. It's very cool though. I love it so very much. We could actually summon anything that could be rideable. We could actually summon a bee to be rideable. You don't believe me? This is actually the coolest one so far. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually really awesome. And by the end of this video, my goal is to have a controllable, somewhat, goat mount that we can, you know, ride around, flex on our friends. Haha, <laughs> vanilla Minecraft, and we're so much cooler than you. And then we're gonna get crazy with it and see how big of a goat we can get. Because I have a sizing mod on where I can change the size of the goat. So hopefully we can have a massive goat by the end of the video. If you guys are not already subscribed, please consider doing so I do fun videos like this on Minecraft all the time and I would hate for you to miss out. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and let's get into the video. First things first, go to the beginning of this command that's basically as long as the Bible. In this instance, it basically is the Bible. Change Minecraft B to Minecraft Goat. Hit the done button. Hit the button button. And now we have goat. And now we have goat. Rideable goat. I might add, he wants the wheat. As you can see, he's breaking his neck attempting to look up him. Okay, go th this way. If we had another human being with wheat, then I think that would be OP. You think he'll go for it? Why don't they go for it on the ground? What's the difference between it being in my hand or not? Okay, so the way we control the goat is when we want him to move, we have nothing in our hand. He gets distracted by the wheat. And if we want him to stop, then we just take the wheat out and he stops. I think this is uh, the most controllability we can get. Oh my God! What is wrong with his head? I think he tried to butt me. I'm actually attached to him physically, so that's actually not possible. What an interesting day this is. Going into spectator, we can see the magic behind the madness. It is quite magical, I must admit. Now, when it comes to actually controlling this beast, <laughs> I got nothing. He is going in the direction I wanted him to go in, but I don't think that is uh, my decision. It's basically up to the Minecraft RNG gods. Please go over there to the sheep. This way. Go that way. Dummy. Come on, this way, bud. Go the other way. Go the other way. Oh! So I've set up some resizing portals. The idea is the goat spawns about here and then falls through the portal, comes out here a little bit bigger, and then we have another portal underneath it that connects to an even bigger portal that sizes it up again. And we will repeat this process as many times as it takes to get an absolutely massive goat that we can ride or at least hang off the back of it and pretend like we're riding it. But giant goat is in the cards right now. I feel it. Quick test. Didn't go through. All right, we gave it a little bit of height. We gave it a little bit of height. Let's see. How? Oh, the horse died. <laughs> what, you want to go back through? I think he wants to go back through the portal. All right, go ahead. No, go in. In. In portal, go. He won't go. He's disobeying. Put it down nice and easy. Strangely enough, axolotls worked with this uh, in my other video. So I'm gonna switch it to that and see if anything else changes. Because as far as I know, this should be working currently. All right, change it to axolotl. It worked fine. Game mode spectator, the horse is still there and hasn't scaled up. So the bigger they get, uh, the more accurate it probably will be when it looks like we're sitting on it, which is good. But I don't know why the goat isn't working. Very odd. Okay, so the issue with it was that there was no space underneath the portal for him to actually fall all the way through. So I cleared some of that out a little bit. So he has space to fall through. 
And now, lo and behold, he is through the portal. His neck is still broken somehow. <laughs> but if you go to spectator, the horse is very much still there, which is awesome. That means we can continue on with our plans to make an absolutely enormous goat that you can ride. Let's do it. Okay, I set up a few scaling portals. So we have this portal and you can see, you could probably tell how many times it's going to get scaled. One here, another time here, and then another time there. So the first sizing portal is here. You come out of this, go in here, a little bit bigger once you go through this first one. You go through here, you come out here a little bit bigger. You go through here, and then finally you come out this portal a little bit bigger. And if we go in reverse, you can see how small I actually get, which is pretty small. It's not the smallest you can be by any means, but it is still pretty small. And if we fall down through the portals again, I am normal size. If I were to fall through here, that means I am going to get huge, huge me. Yes. So it works. It works out pretty well uh, with me. We'll see how well it works with the goat. Oh God, I'm pretty nervous <laughs> actually, but I hope, I hope this works. I really do. Okay. I gave it everything enough space. Three, two, one, let's go. No! Okay, all right. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. We didn't give... I think these two aren't far enough apart. But, dude, look at this goat. He's massive. He's huge. Look at him. And the horse is here. And we're riding the big goat. And we can actually make him bigger. This is so cool. He's so fast, too. He's a lot faster. I like this a lot. So once we get him to actual size, this is going to be pretty epic, I think. Okay, a few modifications made. So this portal, as you can see, has no boundary now. And I made, made sure to give it plenty of space underneath here so that if the goat is a little bit too big, he will still be able to make it all the way through the portal. And then we move this portal up a little bit uh, because I really don't know how to estimate how big this is actually actually going to be and I want to make sure that we can get through on the first try what are you doing outside your cage boy here we go in three two make that go big oh it's huge come here you yes oh my god yes we've literally done it oh man this is something else he's massive and he's beautiful and he looks at me, up at me with those gorgeous little eyes of his I never thought I'd see the day I was waiting for someone to make a rideable goat mod. I was waiting for it. And you know what? Nobody made it. To this day, I have not found a single mod where you can ride a goat. So we had to make it ourselves. Or, I mean, find a, a command block code that lets you ride any mob and then put goat where the, other, where the other mob is and then take credit for it. I'm just kidding. I didn't make this. But the crazy things that you can do with it is what I love about Minecraft. That head, that head. Whoa! Did he just scale us up again? Did he just make himself bigger? Oh my God, he's sentient. I don't think he knows how to get out of here now. Hold on, there you go. No, no. Ah, oh, he shrunk himself back down again. What are you doing? Or wait, is he big? Is he actually bigger? I can't tell. Stop looking at me with that head, dude. I can't, hold on. Did he break himself? Man broke himself. Oh, no, he didn't. The horse is still there. Oh my God, no way. If I can find the horse, if I can just get on it. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, I know you're in there somewhere. It won't let me, he's too big. His hitbox. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you. What the heck? I was right clicking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I right clicked the horse. Why didn't it put me on him? Put me on him. Oh, <gasps> we did it. We got it, baby. Oh my God. I'm I'm literally practically sitting on him now. Well, I'm actually inside of his head. If you if you want to put it technically, look at this. Oh, what a jump. If I smack him, will he go fast? It literally won't let me hit him. I don't want to get off because I'm afraid that I'm gonna lose my seat on the back of this amazing creature. With this mod, you can actually change uh, your view angle. Uh, so if we wanna get a nice view of how I actually look from far away, this is it. This is how big I look. Oh my God, I can literally x-ray with this. <laughs> look at me, incredible stuff. I love the way the world works. The inside of goat head doesn't look too great. I'm gonna be honest. Look at how much faster the goat is now that he's this big. He sees the wheat, he wants the wheat. If he sees it, he buys it. You have to be actually pretty close for him to even tell that there's wheat there. Look at the sheep want some too. Get out of here, freeloaders. It, this is for me and my goat only. I'll name him Billy. Well, this is probably one of my favorite videos <laughs> I've ever made. I love big goat. Don't, don't, don't do it. But will, will he actually sacrifice himself? He's invincible, bro. He's willing to throw his life at risk just to obtain the sweet wheat. This is insane. Go ahead, go grab it. 
Well, my friends, this is where I bid you adieu. This was actually a really fun thing. I didn't think it was going to work out as well as it did, but I'm happily surprised. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video where hopefully mobs are a little bit regular sized. And by that, I mean way, way bigger than this.